Do you know what's funny? I have always been concerned about people who live for the weekends. And I remember in an early corporate job that I had, there was a gaggle of women who would come in. In fact, there were men as well who would come in on a Monday morning and be wiped out because they had obviously lodged it on the weekends. And I felt concerned that they were unhappy. And I remember feeling unhappy for them at a very young age myself, starting out in the corporate world, thinking these people, they must hate their jobs because they are going nuts. At that point, it was going nuts at lunchtime and going nuts after work. And then yeah, uh, on the so weekends, as I say, they would come in on a Monday and be spent. And then there'd be people saving up for a holiday and that's all people would talk about is where are you going on holiday, where are you going on holiday? And I remember thinking, are you that unhappy? That all you think about is what you do on the weekend and what you do on holiday. And I remember thinking to myself, I don't want to live for the weekends. This is not what I want. I don't want to be bolting at five o'clock. And I used to work in insurance and that was a thing. People would bolt at five. And I would sometimes stay there until 11 o'clock and think, I should be paid more. I should be in business. But it was because I really cared about my job. I really cared to do the best job. And I had, uh, at that point, not a huge amount of support from uh, senior management for whatever reason. So I was left to my own devices, which I really appreciate now on retrospect, because it, I developed fierce independence and autonomy and people trusted me to deliver, which worked really well in that role. In future roles where I was expected to be a monkey or report every second of the day, didn't work so well. And I think a lot of the work that's come up uh, and now comes out for me in this work that I want to do is how to understand that everybody's different and works best in different ways. And it's really important to listen to how people like to work. And I think in an age of inclusivity and diversity, rather than just paying lip service to those things on paper and in a sustainability report, we actually need to capitalise on the fact that people do work differently. And if we just listen to how people like to work, then we'll probably get the best out of them.